the fact is that they really need our help. And what's really unique about Crossroads is that we are working with the churches of Japan to uh, to help in the rebuild. And just and we have a couple of people on the phone, but just before we go to them, David, just a quick summary. Uh, how has this relationship evolved? Well, we've worked with Food for the Hungry Canada before in northern Uganda. That was a number of years ago. People might remember that. Yeah. And Ben Hugendorn called me and said, uh, while we were kind of monitoring it, he called me and said, listen, Dave, this, this is a powerful time for the Church of Japan uh, to get involved and to impact people. And, and I listened to him and we talked about it and uh, there's, a, there's a coalition growing on the ground where the church can speak into this. Uh, I mean, it's not just the earthquake, it's the tsunami after, it's the That's nuclear. Right. Oh yeah, and, um, it's like a perfect storm. Yeah. Now we've got uh, live on, on the line from Japan, uh, two uh, very important people. Uh, Miyuki Numata is uh, from Food for the Hungry Canada and then Rio Iwahashi is the chairman of the board of the Japan International Food for the Hungry. Both are available for a few minutes. First of all, Mayuki, uh, thank you for uh, calling in. You just flew over to Japan from Canada. What did you see and how has it impacted you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes, Hi. you're on the air, Mayuki. Uh, uh, the question is, you're just, you've just arrived. Uh, what impact has it had on you? Um, yes, I just arrived at Sendai Airport last night by military cargo, and my first my first thought was like, oh my God, it was just like a war zone, and destruction was beyond my imagination. I've seen in the news, in the pictures, in the images, but it was just beyond my imagination. Now, do you have family members there? And if so, uh, have you been able to connect with them? Uh, okay. First of all, I arrive in Tokyo, Narita, where my family is there. So their area is okay. And so you don't see much of the impact from the, uh, the earthquake around the Tokyo, apart from they have a scheduled power cut and um, some less uh, food. Uh, there's, there's some food shortage. But you don't see much of the distraction. But I flew to Sendai yes, last night, and that's when I really recognize the destruction. Now we've, we've seen pictures of Sendai. I mean, you, you, you're right. It does look like a war zone. Have they, have they begun to, uh, to clean up, and do they have some hope for a rebuild? I've seen some, uh, some uh, the cleanup operation going on. In the, still not in a wide scale, because people are still trying to, to find or either loved one or there are some their variables. We went uh, uh, the area, the hit severely hit by a uh, tsunami today, and actually we were looking for a church, and we couldn't find anything. Wow. Nothing, uh, you know, just uh, nothing but the debris and debris. But I, we saw people trying to find something they can use or something valuable to them. I saw the pictures, you know, on the ground, and it must be something really variable to them. So government is also sensitive, uh, trying to be sensitive that, that you can't just clean up as a garbage. Right. It's, it was house. It was the you know, library food. And there was a memory attached to it. So you can't just go in and clean up. Miyuki, There's this, something going on though. Yeah, well, I really appreciate this. Now, if you wouldn't mind putting Rio on the line. Uh, Rio Iwahashi is the chairman of the board of the Japan International Food for Hungary. Uh, Rio, thank you for uh, making yourself available. Uh, what, what is Food for the Hungry trying to do with the churches right now? Um, well, we're helping churches and, and, uh, uh, well, by providing the uh, food, water, a hygiene kit, uh, blankets, and then prov uh, providing those uh, uh, necessary stuff is a uh, primary job for us r right now. And uh, is the church uh, a major player or a minor player in Japan these days? Well, I, I couldn't hear that. Uh, uh, is the church playing a major role? Uh, is the church seen as, uh, as a significant uh, um, uh, participant in this? A major role in yeah. the, in the community-wise. Yeah. Um, and and uh, what, what do you think the challenge is for the church now? Uh, are they kind of becoming the distributors of what's available? Yes, yes, yeah, church is doing that. Um, well, there's some of the churches don't have uh, younger people, and then some older folks, are, uh, they, uh, they lost many things. So uh, we keep sending the young volunteers from Tokyo, from Osaka, 
and then they are uh, um, going around the communities to pr uh, provide what they need. Yeah. Well, that's terrific. And Rio, we certainly are praying for you and Miyuki. Uh, you're doing very important work. We're proud of what you're doing and wish you Godspeed. And thanks for taking the time to call us. It really has added value to the show today. Thank you again. Thank you for your prayer. Okay, thank you. Now, friends, if you want to get involved in helping the church help Japan, and we're talking about the Japanese church, which, you know, uh, there's what, 1% of Japan are, are Christians. So this is a, uh, you know, this is a significant moment for the church. Here's what you can do. You can call us or you can uh, at 1-800-265-3100 or you can write us. In, in Canada, you can write to Post Office Box 5100 Burlington, Ontario, L7R4M2. Uh, and also log on to crosswoods.ca slash missions. And in the U.S., you can uh, use the same number, one 800 uh, 2653100 and you can write to post office box 486 Niagara Falls New York 14302 and again crossroads.ca/missions. Uh, we're saying let the church rise. Dave, this is uh, uh, I think a signal opportunity for the church to really uh, uh, show its, its its heart. Yeah, I, I think uh, people in North America understand when when you're prosperous and the cities are prosperous and the farmland is rich and and things uh, you you find that you, you think you don't have a need for God, but here's a perfect opportunity for the church to speak into communities and find those that are left behind, that aren't being helped, and uh, they will listen to your story. Absolutely. Rio told us off air that uh, already the church is having an impact and some of the people were expressing gratitude for Mr. Christ. Isn't yeah. that interesting? Yeah. Uh, how blessed is that? They'd never heard of him before. Thank you, Mr. Christ.